Hi everyone, you're watching Campus France Live. Thanks a lot to be there with us. If you're interested in engineering studies in France, you're at the right place. We're going to discover Ecole Centrale de Nantes on its fast track engineering program which allows international students with a bachelor degree to obtain the Diplôme d'Ingénieur, the master's level, in just two years. And to answer all of your questions today, I'm really pleased to welcome uh, Emily Ducoin chai Hi. Hi, Hi Emily. You're international mission manager at Central Nantes. Just next to you, you're with Georges Salamé. Hi. Hello. You're associate professor at Central Nantes in the Fluid Mechanics and Energetics Department and Academic Affairs for the Fast Track Program. And we're also with Yutong Fei. Hi. Hi. You're a student of the Fast Track Engineering Program. Uh, my first question is really easy. Can you um, all introduce yourself in a few words, beginning with you, Emily? Yeah, hello Guillaume, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Emily Chai, uh, International Admissions Manager at Central Nantes. Georges, some question for you. Hello everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Georges Salamé, Associate Professor at Central Nantes, uh, Fluid Mechanics and Energetics Department, and uh, the correspondent for uh, Academic Affairs for the uh, Fast Track Program. And uh, you, Yutong? Uh, hello everyone, hello Guillaume. Uh, my name is Yu Tong Fei. I'm the student in the Fast Track Engineering Program at Central Nantes. Um, my major is image and signal processing, and next month I will be a data scientist intern in the high quarter of National Gendarmerie. Uh, Emily, can you introduce Ecole Centrale de Nantes in a few words? Ah, your few words. Okay, of course, Guillaume. Uh, Centrale Nantes uh, was founded in 1990, one of the oldest engineering schools in France. So also we call a French Grand Ecole, a great school. Um, uh, Grand Ecole are elite education institutions with highly competitive admission requirements. As England has Cambridge, Oxford, uh, as you know, United States has the Ivy League, here in France, we have Grand Ecole. Centre Nantes is a top four engineering school in France, top one out of the Paris region. Centre Nantes trains mountain disciplinary engineers to a, a very high uh, level, uh, scientific and uh, technical level. The students will also have courses in management, in finance, uh, in business, you know, which give them some softer skills. Uh, there are 2,500 students on campus, 43% um, are international students, they come from 87 different countries. Uh, on campus, we also have six national cutting-edge research institutes, and Centre Nantes, we work always hand-in-hand hand very closely with our industrial partners. Uh, Georges, we know that uh, due to COVID-19, we have a very critical situation for the higher education in France and in other countries. How is uh, uh, Central Nantes uh, going uh, with this uh, COVID-19 situation? Uh, since the pandemic started, uh, we are sure to have a regularly contact with uh, the students, all the students uh, who were in France and abroad. <coughs> Among the measures uh, in place at the institution, there was continuous support, assistance. Uh, the school nurse is present for students for questions or problems, health problems or other personal problems. The Student Health Center at the University of Nantes also provides consultations by doctors and uh, psychologists and social workers. An anonymous listening and support service uh, is also uh, available. The ministry has, has set up a platform allowing students also to benefit uh, from sessions with uh, social assistants or psychologists. Uh, sanitary regulations are applied on the campus. The return on the campus uh, is, uh, has been taking place since January, uh, with, uh, respecting, of course, the ministry's uh, recommendations. Uh, the classes uh, uh, are back in person. Some of the classes are back in person since January with the sanitary regulations applied and the return of the clubs and organization as well is returning. The student life uh, is partially returning. 
and there are also uh, the students are organizing uh, conversation uh, workshops between French and international students also taking place on the campus. Uh, Emily, can you describe uh, what the Fast Track Engineering program is? <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, but firstly, let me explain the French education system because in France, we have a very unique and historical education system. That is, we have very few elite uh, grand égale. So when, if the students can get into one of eight, we can see their future is pretty much made. But the admissions to this Grand Egal are really very competitive and selective. The best French high school graduates, you know, we begin with a two year preparatory classes. So here we call class PIPA, and you know, we prepare them for a national test. The placement in this national test uh, will determine, determine uh, determines, you know, which, um, which engineering school will be open to them. And uh, then they enter the engineering school like saint Hanant for a rigorous three years engineering program. And then they will, uh, how to say, they will get to be obtained the highly sought after diploma engineer, engineering diploma. So in summary, uh, after high school, the two years uh, class prepa uh, with three years engineering studies. So in total, it is five years. So diploma engineer in France, it is a master level diploma. Okay, I've come back to fast track. <laughs> so uh, fast track engineering program, it is our opportunity that Saint-Hanant gives to the best international students to obtain the prestigious diploma engineer. Uh, and why it is called Fast Track? Because it is a two years intensive program for international students, you know, instead of the, instead of the three classic, you know, classic three years. Uh, a little bit uh, introduction for the, uh, for the courses. The first year, the students will have um, multidisciplinary classes, which really designed it for fast track students. The second year, they will join the third year engineering students. And uh, we have 18 specializations for their choices. And the, during, uh, during the two year studies, the students have to do two internships. Mm. Uh, thanks a lot, Emily. To know more and to discover Central Nantes from the inside, we just have a little trailer to, to give you, to show you, and we will be back just after that. That's a really cool trailer. If you're joining us, hi, we are going to speak about, and we are speaking about uh, the fast track program of Ecole Centrale de Nantes. You can ask all your questions during this live session. We will answer them during the, the live. Uh, Emily, uh, historically, why did Central Nantes create this program? Uh, Centrale Nantes, we have a very international campus. Uh, 43 of the students are international students, and they come from 87 
different countries, and most of them, you know, follow a very specialized master program. And uh, however, you know, many international come, uh, students come to come to France, and then they know the diploma engineer, so they would like also to have the chance to get this kind, this uh, diploma engineer. So that's why some canon we decided to create it, this fast track engineering program to satisfy the demand of the international students. Uh, Yu Tong, where were you from uh, before joining the program and what was your background in terms of studies? Uh, I'm from China. Uh, my home university is Harbin Institute of Technology and my president major is uh, environmental engineering and uh, uh, and now my my major is uh, image and signal processing. And why did you choose uh, to join this program? Uh, firstly, um, as Emily mentioned before, Saint Halnant is the top four engineering school in France. And I, uh, when I saw there, uh, there's an exchange program between my home university and Saint Halnant, I didn't hesitate a second to choose this program. I spent my uh, so then I spent my final year of bachelor studies at Saint Halnant through the foundation master program. And I remember that in December 28, the Director of International Relations informed us that uh, St. Halnont opens this fast track engineering program. I was so happy that uh, uh, because I had the chance to experience the elite education in the in engineering, in a top engineering school as, uh, as the French student, and op uh, obtained the very famous diploma of uh, engineer. That's why I candidate in this program, and I think uh, now I think yeah, I really made the best decision because uh, during almost three years at Saint Hermand, I studied so many things and uh, experienced the practical lab work and develop my soft skills. It is really what I expected from this program, and the most important is that I now I finally found an internship data scientist, which is exactly my dream job, and have the opportunity to work in Gendarmerie. So this is a little bit uh, out of my expect. That's that's really cool, and we are going to talk about your professional perspective in a in a few minutes. But before that, uh, Emily, in which language is this program taught? Uh, yeah, first year is totally taught in English, and the second year is in French. So two okay. languages. And what are the different prerequisites to apply to this program? Uh, so, firstly, the students uh, should hold, uh, hold a bachelor degree in science, in technology, uh, in engineering. All the students who are finishing their bachelor degrees. And the second is uh, they should have a very strong background in physics and in mathematics. And the third is you know, a very good English level. And how long does the program last? Two years. So it's a two years program. It's really specific because uh, sometimes when we talk about uh, master degrees, we can we can think that it's uh, more three or four years now. Uh, for masters, it's two years. For it's engineers, two years. yeah. For engineers in France, we know you know it's three years. Okay. Yeah. But the French students they have to pass through the class prépa, so two years. So total, total, it is five years. But for international students, because they already get their bachelor degree, so they already done three or four years. So the fast track is two more years for them. And is it necessary to speak French to join the program? Um, you know, for admission. Um. Uh, French certificate. I, I, I think we just had a, a little issue here. Uh, can you say it again? Is it necessary to speak French? I'm, I'm really sorry we had a technical issue. No, for admission, it is not mandatory to, you know, for applicants to provide a French language certificate. Uh, however, we highly recommend the students to begin to learn French once they get the official admission. And uh, besides this, uh, Santanant we also offers the students, the fast track students, one month intensive French language learning in which city in a language, language center. Yeah, so it is totally free this uh, French training for fast track students. And also during the first year of studies, fast track studies, we will have also intensive French classes. Yeah. And Yutong, did you speak French before joining the program? 
um, a little bit, not anymore, <laughs> not, not so much. <laughs> and how is it now? Uh, now I'm so confident and comfortable to speak in French and uh, understand uh, very well the course. So that's cool. And that was thanks to the intensive uh, courses you had uh, at Central? Mm -hmm, yes. Uh, we're now going to talk about pedagogy. And if you're joining us, we are like uh, trying to discover in details how Ecole Centrale de Nantes works. And you can ask all your questions during the, this live session. Uh, Georges, what are the different courses that the student can follow in this uh, program? Uh, during the first year, uh, the students will have multidisciplinary classes. There are 16 specialized courses uh, they, uh, to cover nearly all uh, engineering fields, like, for example, the, Algorithm, programming, finite elements, uh, signal and systems, uh, civil engineering, energetics, robotics, databases, data science, machine learning, uh, math, optimization, uh, biological and medical aspects of human health, uh, fluid mechanics. Now, this is the first year. Uh, the second year, the, uh, the students uh, will choose one of the uh, 18 specializations available at Central Nantes. Uh, in addition to the first year uh, multidisciplinary classes and the second year specialization, in parallel with these two, there are also, sorry, Central Nantes place great importance on the language, sports, and soft skills courses. So there are classes in business and management, uh, in entrepreneurship, finance, etc. And what are the different specialization of the program? Uh, in Central, so as I said, there are 18 specialization available for engineering students and the fast track students can choose uh, between them. They are divided into five main fields for uh, manufacturing, uh, geometric, civil and environmental engineering, digital economy, health and energy ocean. For example, in manufacturing, we can find specializations like aeronautics, mechanical engineering for materials and manufacturing, product engineering, robotics, industrial engineering, in energy and ocean, uh, we can find energy production and management, propulsion and transport, hydrodynamics uh, and marine engineering, in uh, geomatic and environmental engineering, we can find civil engineering, sustainable construction, uh, digital city, there are also computer science, data analysis, uh, applications and signal and image processing. I invite uh, people interested to see all the available uh, specializations with all the details about each specialization on the uh, web page uh, for this. Uh, you told you already had the opportunity to follow a lot of classes at Ecole Centrale de Nantes. What was or, or what is your favorite course? Uh, my favorite course is machine learning. Uh, it is specialized in the study of uh, how computers simulate uh, human learning behaviors in order to acquire new knowledge or skills and reorganize the existing knowledge structure to continuously improve its own performance. Uh, I like uh, extracting useful information through data mining. Mining. Uh, nowadays, many industries have begun to apply machine learning algorithm. And for me as a developer, I can uh, learn how to bring values to, to products through the analysis of a large amount of data. That's really interesting. And I think that the, the, the key point and the key focus of industry nowadays, everybody wants uh, IA, uh, everybody wants, uh, wants to, 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 to use computer for their business. Yes. Um, George, how are the courses divided between theoretical and practical? Uh, during the first year of the fast track program, uh, there are 60, almost 60 percent of theoretical courses and 40% of practical courses, lab sessions, and language classes. Uh, during the second year, the specialization, there are lab sessions in all the specializations. There are projects. For example, there's a big project in every specialization, which is the equivalent of 80 hours of work per student uh, during the two semesters. And um, what do you prefer, Yutung, with the ECN formation? Uh, firstly, for each course, uh, we have corresponding uh, lab work to deepen our understanding of the course. And the professors will try their best to answer each of our questions and help us to solve the problems. 
So we can enhance the ability of self-learning and we can also create the, the ability of working group because there are always two or three people in a group to achieve the lab work. And for uh, next is uh, the internship because every year we have a, a long-term internship at the end of the semester and the duration is about five or six months in the process of the internship we will learn man so many uh, skills and the ability to uh, integrate into a professional uh, society and there are also some courses which are uh, taught by some professors who works in our school's industry partners so it gives us many uh, pressures opportunities to exchange face to face with the famous companies uh, such as uh, group Renault or uh, EDF uh, or uh, Airbus sometimes we could contact them directly to ask for some internship opportunities and so in conclusion uh, UCN form formation has uh, cultivated us many professional skills in advance and uh, uh, enhanced our competitiveness compared to the other school students. Thanks a lot for uh, this testimony. We're now going to talk about the application pro process. How does it work to join uh, ECN and how does it work to join the fast track program? Uh, first of all, Emily, what are the different steps to apply to the program? Oh. Uh, three steps. The first one is application document assessment. So once the application document is complete, the selection committee will, uh, you know, will assess the application documents. If they approve the application, so we will pass to the first round interview. When the students uh, success uh, succeed in the first round interview, there will be a final round interview. And uh, Yutung, what would be your advice in order to have the best application form? What did you put in yours? How, how to, con to, to, to create the best application form? Um, my advice is, uh, first, we should think clearly about uh, uh, your own reasons for choosing a CN and your future plan. And you should have a strong motivation so that make uh, make the professors appreciate appreciate uh, your your uh, uh, prefer your applications. And next, so we should be real and be honest to answer all the questions in the interview. That's my advice. What, what, what does it mean to be honest? Uh, how, how were you honest in your interview process? For instance, you, you didn't lie about your passion, uh, you didn't lie about uh, what you did before, uh, the projects you had? Uh, before, we, maybe we should do some uh, 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 project before to make your application more, uh, more perfect. <laughs> And uh, Emily, what, what is the statement of purpose that you ask in the application form? What is it exactly? Uh, the, uh, the, okay, the statement of purpose is the motivation lighter, you know. So in, uh, in addition to your CV, and we also want to know what, what your motivations to come to some talent and the reasons why you want to join the Fast Track Engineering program. And how to, to, to create this, uh, this statement? Um, is it interesting, for, for instance, to be a little bit original in the way you're talking, in the way you're writing the, the stuff? Or is it better to be like classical, hi, my name is, and I really like? What, what, do you, what are you looking for through this uh, statement of purpose? Uh, so first, uh, the should know some talent. It is the first thing, you know, very important for us. And the second is fast track engineering. They should understand what is fast track engineering, and they should know why they want to come to, you know, to this program. This is very important. And also, they can write something like you know, projects already done or the courses already have, you know, to, you know, to to uh, how to say to um, to explain more in details about their courses linked with mathematics and physics. Mm. Yeah. And what did you put, uh, Yutong, uh, in your own uh, statement of purpose? How did you construct it? Uh, could you please uh, uh, repeat your question? I didn't then, uh, the, the understand. statement of purpose, the, 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 the mm -hmm. statement you have to write in order to show ah, your motivation. Statement. How did you, what did you put inside? Um, so I just put my... Um, uh, 
uh, why I want to uh, join this program. Um, and, uh, and next, I um, I speak some uh, some of my my experience uh, uh, doing some uh, research. Um, uh, uh, that's all. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. You you oh, show yeah. you show how interested you were by by the program. Uh, Emily, mm -hmm. uh, how is it with the oral interview? Is is there an oral interview? Uh, yes, we have two oral interviews. <laughs> yeah, uh, the first the interview when the assessment of the application documents is approved. So the students will have the first oral interview normally with me. You know, just to make sure that the, the students understand well the fast track engineering program. The first thing, and we are here to. I'm here to answer all your questions concerning about this program. And if they pass the first interview, first oral interview, they will pass to the final oral interview, so which is more technical and more academic and scientific. Thanks a lot, um, George. To follow, what key competencies are you looking for with the applicants? What are you looking for in your future students? Uh, first of all, uh, <clears throat> sorry, uh, we're looking for a good level in mathematics and physics uh, to cover the level required from engineering students who follow the preparatory classes, uh, class prepa, and of course, a motivation to follow a program uh, with a different uh, educational system. It's a specific education system for engineering students and for the uh, fast track students. This and is, is what we look for. Mm. Right. Is it necessary to have a strong math background in order to apply to the fast track program? Uh, yes, uh, a strong math background is necessary because it's the foundation of uh, all the studies that will take place in Central Nantes. Uh, the students who don't have a good foundation of math uh, and physics will have difficulties to follow and succeed. And they will need uh, a lot more of effort from them in addition to the effort done uh, uh, in uh, learning French, for example, or living uh, in a new uh, environment. And Emily, what would be your advice to students interested in their studies? Uh, so first, please review our website <laughs> to understand better <laughs> what is the fast track engineering program because it's not like a very simple uh, when we talk about masters, you know, but a fast track. So what is it? <laughs> so first, review on our website the fast track program. If you still have any questions, please just feel free to contact me by email. And the second thing is, please don't exit to give a try because the application is really is totally free. And the third thing is uh, work on your motivation letters. Thanks a lot for all this information. You're still watching uh, this Campus France Live dedicated to École, École Centrale de Nantes. And we're now going to talk about the student life. Uh, with this first question for you, Emily, where are the courses located? Uh, in North City, uh, along the very beautiful, uh, how to say, the uh, Edward River. And Yutong, uh, how is it to, to study at, uh, at Nantes? Can you describe a little bit the, the, the city is just like one or two hours from Paris? Um. Uh, I think Nantes is a very quiet city, and it's uh, for me it's very suitable to study uh, um, because it's not so many uh, not so many chaos. <laughs> so, uh, so I like Nantes very much. And how is the life uh, at Nantes, uh, Emily? Can you describe? We, we can see uh, some uh, pictures of Nantes. How is it to, to live uh, at Nantes when you're an international student coming for the first time in France? Uh, living in Nantes is really, uh, you know, for me, I really love the, the, the life here because Nantes is often uh, referred to as the, one of the best cities to live, uh, to study. Nantes is the green capital and also the innovation capital in Europe. And uh, also it has also retained a very strong historical and cultural heritage. So, so many things to, to do in Nantes. And also we are not far from the Atlantic Ocean. 40 hours drive, uh, no, no, yeah, 40, yeah, for, no, 40 minutes drive, we will just reach a very beautiful beach to enjoy the sunshine, to enjoy the, 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 the beach. You know, en France, we, did, uh, we, you know, we stay la vie est belle. 
So the life is <laughs> really good here. And it's, it's a really green campus, isn't it? A very green campus, yes. We, we even have trips here on campus. <laughs> and and how do you help students with all the administrative procedures because we know that the first time when you're go going to France you have a lot of papers it's not paper anymore it's a lot of time websites to complete uh, you have a lot of uh, steps how do you help your students with uh, these administrative procedures uh, okay in international office in fact we are a team of 13 people and we are also most of us are also uh, trilingual uh, french and english is two basic languages in the office so we have colleagues who speak chinese <laughs> who speak uh, who speak italian who speak also spain and czech and all the colleagues we have international experiences in a foreign country um, so we totally understand the needs of the international students because we all went through there. And, uh, in the office, we have colleagues who are in uh, who are in charge of the visa renewal, uh, accommodation, and also scholarships. And also, we have colleagues who are in very close contact with Campus France in every country, you know, to to facilitate the visa obtaining of our students. Uh, one more thing I want to add is uh, we have a very, very detailed student's guidebook who covers every how to say, uh, practical information. For example, uh, so what is um, a French social security? Um, so, uh, so how to open a bank account? So what is GAF? GAF it is, or how to say, housing uh, financial help from the government of France, French government, and how to get from Paris, how to come to Nantes, and where locates the supermarket is really in details. So we sent this book, we, we share this guidebook, you know, with our international students before their arrival. So before they arrive here, they already have a main idea what they are waiting for. Okay, so it is the first thing. The second thing is we offer uh, the international students a very a VIP welcoming support. For example, there are airport and train station pickups. Uh, and also uh, we, uh, each student will have our academic tutor. So they will never feel alone, I think. <laughs> if you have, uh, they have any questions, you know, for administration or for academic, we always have someone here to help them and also to speak their, maybe their native language. Okay, you're a lot of viewers to join us. Thanks a lot to be there with us. We are discovering École Centrale de Nantes. Don't hesitate to ask all your questions in the chat. We will answer them during this live. And if you're joining us right now, you can wait a little bit. The replay of the live is going to be uh, online very soon. And I think it's going to answer all of your questions that you may have and that you didn't see uh, before. Another question for you, Emily. Do you have uh, accommodation on campus? Uh, yeah, yes, we offer on campus accommodations for, uh, you know, for the fast track students because we know the students from another side of the planet is really difficult or complicated, you know, for them to dealing with the housing. Uh, another point I want to mention here is uh, the students have to say it is very important for us, for some Nantes, that all the students international students will have roommates, including at least one who is French speaker. So it is much easier, you know, for, the, for their daily life and also to, to share the cultures, to know more about French cultures and also to practice the language. Uh, and Yu Chong, for instance, where do you live uh, at Nantes? Um... I, uh, where I, where do I live in Nantes? Yeah, yes. Well, are you still on campus uh, or? No, not a student campus because I found a, a homestay with, uh, I, I live with uh, the French family. Okay. So. Mm. And how is it uh, like the daily, uh, you, you can speak with the family, you, you live with them? Yes, I live with them. Uh, it's a really um, big house and with the animals and uh, uh, because I feel so lonely uh, to stay uh, uh, to stay alone in the in the uh, 
live 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 alone. So I think I should uh, live with a uh, a family uh, to speak French and to uh, live a real French life. Mm. This. So mm. You're uh, you're not Emily in Paris, but you're Tong in Nan. That's your French experience. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, Emily, do you have a lot of sport activities for the students? Uh, yes, on campus, the students have a very wide range of uh, choices of sports. For example, uh, football, basketball, volleyball, squash, uh, archery, horse riding, climbing, sailing. You know, I think there's more than 26 you know, sports. And also on campus, we have more than 80 students' clubs and associations. If the students, you know, they, they want, if they want, they can have a very, very colorful and very fruitful, wonderful student's life on campus. And you think, do the international students feel integrated with the French students? How is it uh, in your situation? Uh, I think, of, um, first, we can participate uh, in some associations in school, so we can communicate with uh, uh, other French students. Uh, in the course, we, uh, as I mentioned before, we also have a lab work, so we can do lab work with the French students. Uh, we can talk about the questions. Uh, it's a, I think it's the best way to integrate with the French students because we, we can not only uh, make clear about the course problems, but also we can improve uh, our ability of speaking French and the ability of working in group. Uh, so, and uh, when we are free in when we are free, uh, we can visit somewhere with a French friend to enjoy the weekend. So there are many ways to establish a good friendship with a French uh, student. And what were your fears uh, you took before joining the program? Uh, I think the first uh, is the difficulty of speaking French. I was worried about that I could not understand the, the French teaching course. But however, in, in order to help us, the school uh, will pro provide uh, one month of language learning for free at the language school in Vichy bec uh, before the starting of the learning. And uh, we do have many chance to exchange with the French students. So my French level will be impro uh, has improved through the communications. And now I'm already, I'm already so comfortable and confi confident to speak French and understand very well the course. Uh, and um, I was worried for, uh, worried for finding an internship before I began to looking for the internship opportunities. But when I was looking for an internship, our school has a, a, a department dedicated to help us to uh, find an internship. We can make an appointment with them for counseling, and they will also help us to modify the CV. And in addition, they will also uh, uh, be many. There, there will be also uh, many companies coming to our school, and we have the uh, opportunity to talk directly with uh, uh, my favorite my, my favorite companies. Uh, there is also a, a seat. Uh, a website in, in in school which is called Job Teaser Saint It helps us uh, uh, also to find many internship uh, opportunities. And in fact, with the formation in uh, UCN, it's not difficult not difficult to find an internship because the uh, the uh, the engineering formation of Saint is just so famous and highly recognized in France. Uh, Saint Hanot is just like a label for excellence, which can also facilitate the, the internship hunting. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about one of the association? Uh, it's Oli, I think. It's like an event. Uh, can, can you say a few words about this event? Um, uh, I remember that there is a, a musical. Um, uh, 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 en français, it's a spectacular. Uh, a musical. I don't a musical, okay. Uh, so uh, we can play uh, the the instrument and uh, uh, um, and uh, and share with the others uh, the the music. So that's uh, that's great. So that was that was really something interesting. Um, yeah, interesting Emily, music. Um, how much does it cost to study at uh, ECN? Uh, Twelve thousand euros per year. So and for we... two years. 
And we have a question coming from Ronaldo in the chat. Uh, is it possible to have scholarships uh, with this program? Uh, there's no internal <laughs> scholarships offered, you know, to the students. But I think campus friends in each country, you know, they have different scholarship opportunities, and also the governments, you know, will have, will, will, you know, will give some scholarships. Okay, thanks a lot. We're now going to talk about the professional world and the international world. Both of them are really important for Ecole Centrale de Nantes. Uh, Georges, my first question is really easy. Is it possible to do internship during the program? Uh, we just have a little uh, technical issue with George. He's coming back in a, in a few uh, in a few seconds. Uh, so maybe I will ask you the, the question, uh, Emily. Is it possible to do internship uh, during the program? It is possible. It is mandatory. <laughs> so there are two mandatory uh, internships: the first year uh, from April to August, and the second year from August to late September. And one of the two internships should be done in industrial. George is back uh, with us. Uh, I will, um, and we'll go back in a few seconds uh, to you with a question. But uh, first, Yutong, can you describe a little bit the different internships you already had the opportunity to do with uh, Ecole Centrale de Nantes? Uh, for final internship, I currently had uh, have three internship offers. The first uh, I have uh, mentioned before, the first is a data scientist in the, in the domain of natural language processing uh, in the headquarters of National Gendarmerie Data Lab. Uh, I will be responsible for developing a natural language processing model in the context uh, of uh, infringement in order to improve the efficiency of the work of gendarmerie, uh, gendarme. I was so surprised uh, and so happy when I got this offer because, uh, you know, National Gendarmerie it belongs to a ministry of um, uh, interior in, in France. It's very difficult to enter even as a French student. So uh, I was very uh, happy for that. And the second internship is uh, also a, a data scientist because data scientist is my dream uh, dream job. Uh, uh, but it's an in, uh, insurance inter enterprise. Um, the object is to predict people's um, uh, medical conception habits through big data and uh, uh, building models. And the third internship is the, uh, is a, a research in the laboratory in a um, university because uh, um, uh, I want to be a, a PhD up, uh, after uh, my, my internship. Um, and the research is also about the subject in natural language processing. A question for you, Charles. What are the different jobs offered to students after the graduation? Where can they work? Uh, after graduation, students uh, from Central Nantes go to different sectors uh, like consultancy, design, transport, construction, public work, energy production, distribution and management, uh, finance and insurance, uh, teaching, research and development, uh, trade, tourism and uh, arts, health and social care social care sorry and other industries also food industry chemical industry metal industry and uh, also uh, it's uh, in all these sectors the career professions are also multiple uh, they can go from manager to design engineer to modeling and optimization engineer test engineering technical marketing consultancy etc so there is a, a lot of uh, of opportunities for, for for them. What kind of jobs can they have? Is it like uh, managerial jobs? Is it more a technical job? How does it work, George? It, uh, it depends on the of the professional project and the professional career the student uh, wants to build. Uh, so uh, the examples I, I presented are from the uh, <coughs> sorry the 2019 uh, uh, graduated uh, engineers. So some of them uh, work in management, other work in technical uh, engineering, others in uh, optimizations and model modeling, others in consultancy. So it depends on the choice of the student and the uh, program or the energy program at Central Nord. It gives the student the opportunity to do all of this because with the uh, hard skill classes and soft skill classes and the internships, he had everything, he, the student has everything needed to do the career uh, of that team. And is it possible to study abroad during the program? 
uh, during the semesters or the first year, second year semester classes, no, it's not possible, but it's possible to do the internship. So the, during the first year and or the second year internships, they can be done abroad. But the classes, they must be followed at saint -Tanon. And once graduated, is it possible to have an international career? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, 29% of uh, graduated engineers uh, took a post uh, abroad. So it's uh, one third of the of the group. So it's uh, possible so to that's... have a career abroad. <laughs> yes, that's a lot. Uh, Yutong, do you already know what you want to do after? You talked a little bit about doing a, a, a PhD because you want to work in the research field. Uh, yes, uh, because uh, um, for my present uh, um, internship, uh, uh, it's very uh, it is, will be very possible to uh, continue uh, a PhD uh, after my internship. Um, so this also uh, uh, another reason uh, why I um, why I uh, uh, why uh, why I post to my my. Uh, um, my county uh, uh, my internship in, <laughs> to to the gender, national gendarmerie. Okay, so you will have to, to, to wait a little bit. Um, what are the salaries of your alumni, uh, Georges? Uh, for graduates who find the job in France, uh, the average beginning salary is around 40,000 euros per year. And is it easy for them to find a job? Uh, it's relatively easy. 85% uh, of the engineering students find a job before graduation or within two months of their graduation. 100% uh, find a job uh, in four months after their graduation. And to conclude, is it possible to stay in France after ECN? Yes, of course. Uh, so, as uh, the example of uh, that we have here, so we can uh, they can do a PhD, but it's also uh, they can also work with their engineering diploma, which is highly recognized in France. So, it's definitely possible for international students to uh, to find a job in France if they want. Thanks a lot. Uh, to conclude, I, I, I would like uh, the three of you to, to say a few words uh, to our audience, uh, maybe to, to tell them why they, why they should join uh, ECN or uh, the really uh, a few words to conclude. Let's start uh, with you, Yutonga. Uh, a word? Yeah, a little sentence like, uh, what do you want to say to, to, conclude, uh, uh, to conclude this live? Um... Uh, have a different uh, experience. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Um, like uh, to try to yeah. to multiply uh, the, the 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 experience you have and not stay focused in one field. Maybe. Yes. Yes. That's what that, I mean. <laughs> that's interesting, George. What should be your last sentence for the audience? Uh, if you want to follow a program where you have multidisciplinary classes and uh, have an experience of student life in uh, Nantes, which is a very good uh, city to live as students, and uh, have the opportunity to work afterwards in all the fields of engineering, uh, Central Nantes uh, and the Fast Track program is your destination. And Emily, to conclude, what do you want to say to the audience before uh, leaving us? Yes, if you want to experience, indeed, education in France, you know, the big family of Antranon is here for you. Thanks a lot, Yutong, George, and Emily, for your time. And thanks to you for having watched us. If you still have questions about Central Nantes, don't hesitate to ask them on the chat. The teams of Central Nantes are looking for your questions and they will answer them. See you soon on Campus France.